So the first advice actually comes from a very popular artist on Instagram called Sam Does Art. And in one of his YouTube videos, he asks his audience to not draw figures using boxes. And I think it's a bad advice. I have been following Sam for a very long time. I love his paintings, I love his art style, and I have learned a lot from him. But that is one advice that I can't agree with. Boxes are one of the most useful shapes out there, not just for drawing objects, but also for drawing humans and animals. Boxes have six defined sides, and they can be very useful for constructing the human figure, and can also be very useful in understanding the 3D aspects of the figure. The reason that Sam gives is, if you use boxes, then your figures are going to turn out stiff. Which means, if you use boxes and your figure drawing turns out bad, then the blame goes on the boxes and not on you. Which I think is a pretty weird thing to say. You know, it's similar to saying that your paintings are not turning out right because you are not using the correct brushes, which is not true. The tools don't matter. You do. Your skills do. I have been learning art for about two years now, so I have come across many artists that use boxes to draw their figures and to teach figure drawing. And an example that I would give is Broco. So any advice that says that you should not use a particular method or technique to draw or paint is just a bad advice. A better thing to do would be to teach how to use these methods and techniques correctly rather than not using them at all. The second advice comes from another popular artist known as Colleen. So Colleen in one of her videos asks her audience to not draw ugly people if they want to grow as an artist or on social media. So Colleen has this specific proportion that she uses to draw her characters and last year she actually got herself into a controversy because of that. In one of her videos, she tried to fix the proportions of a painting of a black lady into what she thought was desirable. And that got her a lot of backlash. She could have saved herself if she had studied more faces and proportions from around the world rather than sticking to one single proportion. So what I'm trying to say is that you should be studying every single kind of face. Be it ugly, beautiful, interesting, not interesting. It will only make you a better artist. Now you might be wondering, what about style? Don't you need that particular facial proportion to define your style? Well, not necessarily. You can have a style and still have your characters have different facial proportions. Or you can also have a particular facial proportion as your style or your artistic identity just like many artists on Instagram. But that doesn't mean that you should not be studying more variety of faces. More knowledge never hurts. The third advice that I believe is bad is that you should stay in your comfort zone. Well, it is not the worst advice out there, but I think it's not good either. Well, I do understand where this advice comes from. I mean, if you stay in your comfort zone and only draw the thing that you're best at and do it again and again and again, then you're definitely going to get better at it and faster too. But I do believe that you need to leave your comfort zone once in a while. I believe that you should take your artistic journey as a journey of discovering yourself and your unique artistic voice. That means you need to venture outside of your comfort zone, try new styles, new techniques and find new artists to study from. If you always remain in your comfort zone, then you are never gonna know what more you like, what more you can do and what more you can learn. The fourth bad advice is that a real artist should try from imagination. This advice normally comes from people that do not know what they're talking about and think that real artists only draw from imagination and using references is cheating. It doesn't really matter how good you are at imagining things. If you do not have the skill to draw it, you cannot draw it. And to develop the skills, you need references. Even the skilled artists that know how to draw use references for their art. You may ask why? Well, because no references means no new information and no new information means no improvement. Now let me bring Sam to the picture again. He is a wonderful artist. His paintings are gorgeous, his style is beautiful. But if you see his YouTube videos, you will know that he also uses references a lot for every painting he does. Now you might say that Kim Jong Gi never used references. Well yes, if you see him draw in YouTube videos, he never used references and draw everything from imagination. But you also need to ask how he got to this point where he does not need references. 
Well, he got there by using references. He trained his hand and mind to be able to draw without using references. And he did it with the help of references. So if you want to improve your technical skills as an artist, then don't draw from imagination and use references. The fifth bad art advice is that you shouldn't use digital tools. This advice or opinion is aimed toward digital artists and normally comes from traditional artists. They believe that tools like Ctrl plus Z, Lasso tool or layer modes are shortcuts and a real artist should not use these shortcuts. Of course, they do not know what they are talking about. All these tools are there to make the process more efficient. Just because I can control plus Z my mistakes doesn't mean it requires any less skill. Just because the tools are present doesn't mean that you can automatically create a masterpiece. Many of these tools do have a learning curve. Loish is one of my favorite artists and if you have ever seen her paint, you will see that she heavily uses the lasso tool. She selects an area using a lasso tool and then creates a gradient using a gradient tool. And that's what gives her paintings a very unique style to it. So don't be shy and use these tools to your full advantage. So do you agree with everything that I said in this video or do you have any other opinion? Let me know in the comment section. So this is it for this video and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.